Hello everyone, I'm excited today to review a product. I have been waiting a year and a half to get to this point. Um, I ordered this pro product off of Kickstarter um, back in April or May of 2020. Uh, it was supposed to have been received by October 2020 and didn't actually get to me until about February, maybe March of 2021. So, um, and then I stored it away for about six months because I saw the tracking on it and it went to about 26 different countries in China before it was uh, received by me and then all through the United States. So between all of those hands touching it and all of those countries and, and cities touching it, I thought it would be best stash that away during the height of the pandemic before the vaccine was ever um, created. And I did not want to touch it or sniff it because it is a cologne and I did not know who or what, um, whose hands have touched it, what cities have touched it, but knowing that it was uh, international, no thank you. So um, I got it back in, like I said, early of 2021 before the vaccine um, was available. So I made sure to stash that away until after I got the uh, vaccine shot. And then I forgot about it for about four or five months. And here we are. So it's been a year and a half and I've been wanting to review this product for a very long time. Uh, it is a NASA space cologne. It was a Kickstarter project that was all over the place. It was on CNN, Discovery, Reddit. Um, where else was it? It was on Reader's Digest. Uh, all the news stations. It was everywhere. So I heard about it on CNN. That's where uh, I first got wind of it. I, I was backer number like 400 and something. Uh, I got over 12,000, almost 13,000 backers and over $600,000 on Kickstarter. So um, it's supposed to simulate the smell of outer space. Okay. So um, I'm excited to uh, take a whiff and see if what it what it actually smells like. Also, when you order an when you order this item, it was like thirty four dollars. Um, when you order this item, one bottle is supposed to go to a STEM project, and you're supposed to get a bottle. So I don't know what a STEM school is or STEM project, but I mean, if it helps kids learn something and teach them something about something, I'm good with it. Um, but I was more concerned about myself because I am a cologne enthusiast. I love my bathroom is just full of colognes. So I'll read you a little bit about what is the scent and what it's supposed to smell like. Um, it's supposed to smell like a, um, they say burnt almond cookie or burnt um, walnuts, burnt steak, gunpowder, rum. Uh, and if anybody who knows me, if uh, you've ever been to a restaurant with me, when they ask me how do I want my burger or my steak, I say burnt. I just love, hockey puck that baby up. I'm, I'm all for burnt steak. Um, including gunpowder. I love the smell of birthday candles after they've blown out, you know, like a grass fire or even after fireworks. So I love that smell. I was like, this could be a cologne that I could actually like. So I'm excited to get into it. However, there has been a lot of speculation um, on the, uh, how do you say, like the morality of the people who are creating it because some of the pictures that they were sending, some of the updates of it coming through uh, were not... Um, they, they were not sanitary at all. Like I, they were sending some pictures of it and uh, it, it just looked kind of shoddy. But I will say their customer service was great to me. Uh, the customer service um, to others I could see in the reviews were not so great. People were really thinking they got scammed or they weren't going to get their product. I was one of them. Um, I didn't think I was going to get the product because they said that they had delivered it and they had not. And I reached out to them. And they were like, no problem. We'll send you another one. So um, a lot of these people have also said that they got the product and it was uh, broken or leaking. So I have a towel out and because um, I have no idea, you know, if it's going to bust as soon as I open it because they said sometimes that cap would break. So I'm a little nervous, but it did come pretty well packaged. It came in like a bubble wrap. Um, and so and I've been waiting for so long to open this. Uh, and I'm a little nervous about... Um, if it's going to be a smell I'm going to like or if it's going to be a gimmick because some people said it just smells like alcohol, like water and alcohol mixed together. So we'll take a sniff and see. First thoughts, uh, it feels very heavy actually. You can hear the liquid inside and it's, um, I, I'm guessing it's a pretty big bottle but by the weight, the weight of it. Um, the actual packaging itself, it's standard cardboard. I mean, it's nothing fancy, but I would say it looks okay. Um, so let's go ahead and get inside of it. Okay, and I also did get a 
coffee cup or what's it called like a k-cup so i can you know I already can smell it uh, so i can get a little whiff and change the uh the scent in my nose before i take a whiff of this and i did bring an old t-shirt that i've never worn um that i'm gonna just spray it on there and take a waft i say like waft like they do in, in science class you're not supposed to <clears throat> actually like bring it up to your nose they say in school so here is the bottle okay it's pretty actually it looks really pretty so there's the bottle also this is Oh, I thought it wasn't a sticker. I thought it was actually like embodied into the glass. I was like, okay, this is pretty fancy. It's not, it's just a sticker. So um, hopefully opening this up. Okay, it's not gonna bust, it looks like. Turn the nozzle. I'm really excited about this. Like it's been a long time. Okay, so got my coffee whiff. Spray it over here a little bit. And for the review to see if this has been a scam the whole time or if it actually smells like something well it doesn't smell like alcohol i don't know what it smells like it smells kind of like a it's a scent i've, I've never i've never smelled before it, i can i can smell the alcohol that everybody's talking about but it's it's like Maybe, maybe this is kind of like what burnt fruit smells like. I've never burnt fruit, but it has a... Maybe I need more. It's a very it's a very unique scent. It's, scent. it's not bad. It's not good. I wouldn't wear it. Um, and I think that that's what they were trying to um, insinuate on the Kickstarter. If you read the little bio or the YouTube video that they made on it, they said it's to get astronauts prepared for what the actual scent of space smells like. Um, Cause it, I guess it's not flattering. <laughs> it's not good, um, but it's, it's not bad either. I just don't, as a cologne, I wouldn't wear this. It's, but it's, it's definitely got a scent. It's, um, it, it, I, I don't know. It's not a, it's not a cologne I've ever smelled before. And it's not a, a scent that I've ever come across. It's very unique. Um, if this is truly what space smells like, it's it's doable. It's livable. Uh, I don't think I could um, go long long terms on smelling this, <laughs> or maybe you'd get used to it. I don't know. Um, yeah. So if any of my friends, or who are like my friends and coworkers, want to smell this, uh, that you're in my area, I mean, I'll come over and let you smell it for yourself. It's it's we can do another another video. Uh, maybe we can do a few other uh, live action, you know, reactions. But it's definitely. Um, it's definitely worth taking a scent or a, a smell or a sniff. Uh, it's um, pretty unique, but I'm, I'm glad I bought it and I'm glad I got to at least experience what this is like. Um, and if you want to, I'll put the link below for the Kickstarter project. So if you want to order it yourself and get a whiff and do your own video, feel free. Uh, it's it's a little strong. I probably shouldn't have smelled that much or sprayed that much. Yeah, it's whew, it's kind of overwhelming. Anyways, that's all I have for right now. Um, <laughs> thank you guys for uh, watching. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to um, ask in the comment section below. Bye, you guys.